Hey guys, that's you with another trailer reaction video. We're going to do the uh, tax collector today. Um, this trailer's actually been out for like a week, but I just haven't had time to watch it. And so I figured uh, I'm knocking a couple uh, trailer reaction videos out today. So might as well uh, scoot another one in. Um, you know what? I don't like to waste too much time. So let's uh, just get into it, okay? I hate those little 10 second trailer intro things. I hate them. I hate that they do that. You heard of me? Yeah, heard of me. What have you heard? What have you heard? Are you the devil? I might be. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, fool. Good, eh? Every gang in LA. Has to pay their taxes. What's up, Holmes? Wake up. If you stack short, go rob a bank. Rob your own mother. There's no excuses. Do not test that. Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys look like a couple of monsters. This is George Lopez. Yeah, hell, man. Yeah, but I'm at peace with that. Uh, son las 12 de la madrugada, mirándome en el espejo. What's up, Johnny Cash? How about that time you gave me like three different STDs? Are you kidding? Me? Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. You got your wife, you got your kids, you got your castle. Daddy! I'm supposed to terrorize the herd. That's my function. God allows me to walk through the darkness and come back into the light. What did you see in me? I heard that you were this big bad gangster. You're taxing 43 different street gangs. That's thousands of dudes in the most violent subculture in Los Angeles. That's insane. Why would you ever want to do that? Who are you? I'm the future, and you the past. You got your kids. You want to buy them back? You don't think he wants to spill blood? He wants to cut Jeez. your heart up. Can't run with what's left. Kidnap. I got a 380 on each ankle, 38 on my right, 25 on my left, chopper in the trunk, lock on my belt. I'm on it. He's loaded with firearms. Took my kids, man. I'm riding with you till the wheels fall off. You're bad. You ain't that bad, all right? Open your mouth. Okay. He'll splatter your brains out. I don't want that. Man, I do. I want that. Dude, that kind of reminds me of when he just put the gun in his mouth it kind of reminded me of the uh scene from american history x the, the curve stomp one a little bit kind of gave me that kind of vibe uh and i apologize if you're hearing any weird noises my dog is chewing a chewing a bone in the background making funny noises um yeah this looks good so dude and what's actually interesting is the combination here <clears throat> of shia labeouf and david ayer because People give David Ayer a lot of shit, and it's probably because of Suicide Squad, even though that movie is not the original version that he intended. Like he, he's, he's been very forward with that, just like Zack, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Um, so people are giving him a lot of shit because Suicide Squad you know, wasn't that good. Apparently there was a version that was good, but End of Watch is great. Fury's great. Those are great movies. This is totally a David Ayer, Ayer movie. But what's also interesting about this relationship is, is Shia LaBeouf. And a lot of people think that he is batshit crazy. And, uh, well, he might be a little bit. Like, if you if you watch, uh, <clears throat> what was it, Honey Boy? Excuse me. Uh, Honey Boy, which is kind of a projection of, like, him him being a child star and being pressured by his father. Uh, he's definitely got some issues for sure, but I, I think that Shia LaBeouf is a low key, a brilliant actor. Like he really is. Like he's, he's, I think there is, uh, an argument you could say about him stepping up his game, but I also think that part of it is he, uh, he's always been a good actor. He just has never gotten credit. And then he came out that just do it video and people just thought he was, he was ridiculous. Um, I do, I do have to say that 
I guess I don't know how old Shia LaBeouf is. He's got to be like around 30, 32, something like that. He does look like a little like young for like what this role is. Maybe I just don't under I'd understand it or I have a full scope of what the actual role is. I mean, this is only the trailer, of course. But I mean, like it does kind of have like a little bit of like <clears throat> a mob mafia thing going on. But instead of being on the East Coast, like a whole, whole New England, like Boston, New York, New Jersey thing, it's on the uh, West Coast. And then I assume that was in, you know, California somewhere. And so it's kind of a, a little bit of a different like environment, uh, which which I'm sure calls for different elements. But, you know, if this was a movie that was done over on the East Coast, it'd definitely be like a 60 year old mob boss that's had control and territory over, you know, uh, certain aspects of the, of the city or the town or whatever. And so uh, I have this 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 type of role i just i feel like i would see someone older in it and shia labeouf actually looks kind of young um but without the age there uh, he definitely like fits the role like he's definitely got like uh just from the trailer itself he definitely has like kind of the mannerism and he kind of really has already just set the tone for what kind of character is going to be like uh kind of a no fear type thing reminded me a little bit of jonah hill's character from uh, war dogs uh, probably isn't going to have that ridiculous laugh, but, um, uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, I think that uh, this is going to be a, a pretty cool movie. Not, not Oscar worthy. I don't think you're going to see this, uh, you know, nominated for best picture or anything like that. But, um, David Ayer and Shia LaBeouf both do not get enough credit for the work that they do. And it's an interesting combination. It's an interesting, interesting relationship, uh, for them to be a part of this. But I, I think that maybe this, maybe this could be the movie that kind of shuts a lot of people up and proves them wrong. I hope that it is because they, they deserve a lot more than, than what they get. Um, it looks like there's a kidnapping involved. He's a tax collector or maybe could have a little bit of like a heist type theme to it too. So, uh, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I missed the release date on that one though, but I'll be, I'll be looking out for that. I am dying to go to the movie theater even though those those aren't uh, really open here in minnesota anyways but um i'll be definitely the soonest chance i get to watch it probably is going to be at home or like on blu-ray i'm definitely gonna check this one out so let me know what you guys uh what you guys think let me know how you're doing please hit subscribe hit me up my social stuff is going to be in the uh in the description as well if you want to hit me up on uh, facebook or instagram i'm uh doing a lot of shenanigans on there so uh, yeah, you guys take care. Thanks for watching.